Hi guys, I welcome you all to EduTap and here we have brought for you another lecture under 5 MCQs a day. So today's topic is Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, a very important topic from the ESI section and this is going to be relevant for RBI grade B, NABAD grade A as well as SEBI grade A. So there will be 5 questions, you will have to try and solve them and mark your score and there will be explanations so that you can get the answer if you did not know it. Okay, so before proceeding, let me just tell you about the various courses which are being offered by us. So we have a SEBI grade A, uh, RBI grade B, NABAD as well as IBPS AFO test series as well as the video course. And about this particular lecture, it is going to be relevant in the phase 2 of RB, RBI and SEBI both and phase 1 and phase 2 both of NABAD because ESI is a very important component in all these three examinations. And uh, let us start with our topic for the day, which is Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. The mission is very important. It is related to Clean India and they were, it has been in news a lot of times and uh, there will be five questions. You'll have to try and solve them. And our first question related to Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is, Government had launched Swachh Bharat Abhiyan on 2nd October 2014 as a tribute to Mahatma Gandhi. How many submissions does this Abhyan consists of? So uh, it is related to the submissions of Swachh Bharat Abhyan. Basically 2nd October is the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. So uh, it was launched on his birth date and your answers uh, options are 5, 4, 2, 6 or 10. Just try and solve it. If you have read about it, you must know the answer. So option 3 is the answer here, that is 2 submissions. So on 2nd October, Swachh Bharat mission was launched by our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi throughout the length and breadth of the country. It was launched as a national movement. So it is not just a mission, it is not the government's responsibility, but it was launched at a national level and as the national movement. So basically the goal was to achieve a Swachh Bharat by 2019, which is going to be the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, who was born in 1869. So as a tribute to Mahatma Gandhi who wanted to see our country clean and green, this was a mission launched at a movement level. So it has two submissions. So first one is Swachh Bharat submission for Grameen and Swachh Bharat mission for Urban. Now apart from these two missions, the ministries which are relevant and implementing particularly the respective missions are Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation for the Grameen. SBM and SBM Urban is under the Ministry of Urban Development and uh, 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 these are some important things from this particular question. I hope this was useful to you and let us move on to our second question. And our question number two is in the budgetary allocation for the year 2018-19 how much amount of money has been allocated to SBMG so that means we have just seen Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen in order to meet the financial requirements for achieving the goals see this is a typical question and it has been seen that these questions are particularly asked in the exams of RBI NABAD particularly so the budgetary allocation is important and uh, this was recently in news a lot because it was said that the budgetary allocation has been reduced and it is not per as per the requirements. So just try and solve it. If you know the answer, you hit a score and please do mention your scores below in the comment section so that the session becomes more interactive and you can even add on the informations you think are relevant here. So um, your options here are, is it 15,000 crore? 30,343 crores, 15,343 crore, 10,525 crore or you think that none of the above, there is no crores option. So uh, your turn to solve the question. And our answer here is option number two. So in order to meet the financial requirements for achieving the goals of Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen, 
because the goal of open defecation free india is particularly relevant in, in terms of the rural area and in the budget of 2018-19 an amount of rupees 30344 crore was allocated to this mission now this 30344 crore can be broken down and two parts were given here that is the 15343 crore from the general budgetary support that is general budget budget is going to give this much money and the remaining 15000 crore through the extra budgetary resources now what what are these extra budgetary resources see the the these are the funds which will be raised through nabard the apex institution for rural development after considering various banks also so the exact requirements expenditure various public sector banks as under the consideration of nabard are going to raise the loan for this and this is going to be a soft loan that is it will be there for the term of 10 years the repayment would start after a tenure of 10 years so for receiving the funds for sbm gramin disbursement of the same to the states or union territories would be uh, done through the national center for drinking water sanitation and quality so ncdwssq you can just remember it this is the particular center which is going to be the receptible agency for the loans okay so this is particularly important and keep this in mind Question number three: With the aim of generating greater public participation towards cleanliness, Swachhata Hi Seva movement in the year 2018 was organized as a fortnight campaign. It was launched on. So the date is being asked here. It has been given. You can take the hints from the question here. A fortnight campaign. That means it is going to be a 15-day campaign. What could be the relevance? You can just figure it out here. So is it second October, fifteenth September, sixteenth October, fifteenth August, or twenty sixth January? So it is about the year two thousand eighteen particularly. Just give it a try. And our answer to this question is option number two. That is fifteenth of September. Okay, so Swachhata Hi Seva movement was launched particularly in the year two thousand eighteen on September fifteenth. So last year, that is in the year two thousand seventeen, it was launched on September sixteenth. But this time, the date was preceded and it was made September fifteenth because on as it is a fortnight campaign, so on second October it is going to complete its fifteen days, and second October is the date which is going to mark the commencement of the one fifty one fifty. Fifth year of the Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary, so the movement is basically aimed at generating the public participation, and it was particularly urged by the Prime Minister to the people to come forward and participate in it. And let me tell you, it uh, the date marks the second uh, October is going to mark the fourth anniversary of the Swachh Bharat Mission, and that is why also this mission, this movement was launched. and uh, uh, various ministries had come forward and they had collaborated with this swachhata hi seva movement and uh, prime minister himself had interacted with so many people like school children spiritual leaders then jawans railway employees through this video conferencing so that is why this is important and uh, swachhata hi seva movement in itself particularly important you have to keep in mind about the fortnight campaign and what is it regarding So moving on to your next question. Moving to question number four, the question is: Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, with its mission of clean India, aims towards the achievement of which of the following sustainable development goals? Now this is again very important. All the sustainable development goals are important, and since this mission is being linked with SDGs, so you have to know this answer. just try and solve it which sustainable development goal is it so your options are here just try and solve it and our answer here is option number 4 that is sdg 6 so the one of the 17 sustainable development goals sdg 6 relates to ensuring the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all by the year 2030 
So these SDGs were basically launched by the United Nations in the year of 2015 till the target of 2030. So 15 year goals these are and with the progress under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan that is a clean India, India is also claiming the world's most improved tag with regards to its ending the open defecation. So this was a huge problem in India and still it is there but improvement has been done a lot through this Swachh Bharat Abhiyan because the construction of the toilets were there and SDG 6 is although relevantly dedicated to water and sanitation but it is also linked to other SDGs so like uh, the other SDGs can be it is health it is related to health then sustainable cities are there clean environment all these things are associated and that is why this is important for us and these are the targets under uh, the SDG 6 you can just have a look here go through them and although you don't need to just uh, cram them up you just have to have a fair idea about the sustainable development goals and here are all the 17 goals so SDG 6 we have just seen then one is related to poverty zero hunger good health just have a look and go through them once so the last question of the series is which of the following is not an initiative under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or Swachh Bharat Mission. So that is the name of Swachh Bharat Mission. It is also officially called as Clean India Mission. So you have to find out which of the above is which of the following is not an initiative. So is it a My Clean India campaign? Swachhata Pakhwada, Swachhata Hi Seva movement, Swachha Sarvekshan or all of the above. So you know the answer Swachhata Hi Seva, Swachhata Hi Seva is obviously going to be there. We have just seen the questions uh, previously. So uh, which of the, uh, these are not an initiative. And all of these are the initiatives under SPM. So in urban areas it is focused on building individual toilets community toilets and solid waste management this is a very important issue the waste management of the solids is important and that is what sbm is focusing on the urban areas then the rural areas emphasis on the behavioral change behavioral change as in you can say that government is there which can help people in constructing toilets but the regular use of such facilities which are being provided is considered as the behavioral change so that is also being taken and uh, implementation and delivery mechanisms through the panchayat level so these are the broad missions and some of the initiatives are here as i have mentioned them here although there are many other important initiatives and if you find anything important which is relevant you can just mention in the comment section below so here are your answers you can just go through them and tally your score do mention your score below and it will even exhibit your consistency are you even following it or not and even if you could not score well that's okay you have learned so many new things from this video lecture so that's it guys that was about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and in case you guys have any query you can just drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in you can also visit our website www.edutab.co.in and our contact number is here 8146207241 you can whatsapp us or call us on this number and i really hope this video is useful to you and you like the content if you think that this is useful to you please do not forget to like and subscribe and do share the video and this is the link of our telegram channel it is also mentioned in the comment section in the description below you can just go there and download the pdf of this lecture and all other lectures as well so uh, that would be it from this lecture guys i wish you all a very happy learning and thank you for being here